folks, and welcome to Whiskey Wednesday again. Still in the Lucy jar, still not kicked me out, always a bonus. Uh, today we are looking at Mortlack 16 year old. Now I've had quite a lot of private messages from a few of you guys asking me to review this when I did the Whiskey Tour collection a couple of, well, months ago now, it's actually September, October time. It's really sought after, it is particularly rare, and it's an unfortunate thing that you can't find anymore. So look, let's talk about what it is. Uh, the distillery itself is the first of eight distilleries, or seven, seven or eight distilleries that were founded in the little village of Dufftown in Speyside on the east coast of Scotland. It was founded uh, by a man whose name eludes me. It may have actually even been a woman, but the most important thing about this, this distillery is that it distills whiskey 2.81 times. Now, to explain that would take longer than this video, which I'm assuming is gonna be sort of around 10 minutes long. Uh, if you just Google Mortlack distillation, it shows you the entire run through. If you can understand it, please try and explain it to me because I still can't understand it to this very day. And I've been studying those pictures for about three years. Um, but this whiskey was part of the Flora and Fauna collection. Now that was a collection of whiskies from around 20 to 23 distilleries that were mainly prioritized for blending in the Johnny Walker blends. Johnny Walker's owned by Diageo, Mortlack is owned by Diageo, FTSE 100 company, one of the big, the biggest drinks company in the world, on Guinness, Smirnoff, all sorts of things. Uh, and this was predominantly used for blending. Johnny Walker Gold, Johnny Walker Black, Johnny Walker Platinum and Blue, a lot of it goes into those. This is a minimum of 16 years old, fully matured in X sherry barrels. Um, this isn't a natural coloured whiskey, um, so I wouldn't pay too much attention to that. There will be some additional colouring into this whiskey. It's also chill filtered, but it's nonetheless a quite outstanding product. This is a favourite amongst uh, my current boss. I think this is his favourite whiskey of all time. I managed to pick it up three years ago for not a lot of money at all. It's one of those things where you kind of order it on an order form, is a bit of a cheeky thing to do, and eventually a case turned up. Uh, and we all bought a bottle each amongst the staff, so it was quite a nice thing to have. Um, but enough talking, we'll get onto the whiskey because that's what you're all interested in. So let's have a little smell of the thing. It's kind of, it's classic East Coast sherry style whiskey. Um, it smells like Christmas. It's raisins and sultanas, Christmas cake. I get a little bit of white chocolate and there's always a little bit of milk chocolate running through there as well. Fresh orchid fruits. It kind of mixes summer and winter together. You get that element of apple and pear, really kind of fresh citrus, and then you get that kind of darker, more acidic style from like strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, classic space side. White chocolate, raisins, sultanas, loads of rich, opulent, decadent styles. And because it's 2.81 times distilled, in theory, it should be a very soft feel as soon as we actually taste it. And it is. I mean, as you can see by the bottle, over the course of three years, I've taken quite a good chunk out of that. And it's because it is remarkably easy to drink. I think it is why people do favor it so much. You get the richness of the sherry, all of the decadence, all the luxury, but the really, really soft mouthfeel. Modern Mortlack is still 2.81 times distilled, um, but it doesn't prioritize as much sherry use as this does. It's a good combination of bourbon and sherry cask. Um, but I think this is what people think of when you hear the word Mortlack dotted around, much in the same vein as Springbank. If you chat with any whiskey drinker who's been drinking whiskey for a long time, this bottle or this distillery will come up at some point. Just so sweet, so lovely. Um, I've used this phrase quite a lot, but it is one of the very Moorish stars of whiskey. You could sit there and drink it all night, with a good group of friends and the bottle would be gone. Um, but because it is so rare, I'm taking my time about this. The finish again, uh, much like the palette, it's soft with little flicks of decadence running through it. You still get that kind of granulated, sugary, white chocolate feel going on. Not as much citrus as the nose would dictate. None of those raisins and sultanas and marinated fruits. Just soft, lovely, and very, very easy going. Um, in terms of scoring it, Again, it's quite rare, as a few of the whiskies have been on in terms of previous reviews. So it's not an easy score to give to something that you can't find that much anymore. The only place to really find it is on auction sites, and it's averaging anywhere sort of from like 90 to 140, maybe even 150 pounds. I know retailers who have it online are asking for 175, which is a lot of money. 
Um, but if you do want to spend it, if you do want to experience it and you've got the money spare, why not? Um, but in terms of purely based on taste, we'll not include cost price because obviously at, at this point, if you want to buy it, you can, but it's going to cost you a lot of money. Purely based on taste, it's an 8 out of 10. It's a wonderful, wonderful whiskey. I've already said it a lot already, but it's luxury, it's rich, it's very delicate at the same time. And it's kind of everything you could ever want from a single malt. I understand why people love it to bits. Uh, in terms of experiencing this whiskey without paying anywhere between 100 to 175, uh, independent bottlings of Mortlach from people like Hunter Lang, Signatory, Gordon McPhail, all these huge independent bottlers offer things that are this age or older or even younger, fully matured in sherry at 43% and above. So you can experience this without actually trying this itself. Um, but in terms of if you do have this at home, and I know a few of you do, tell me what you think of it. Is it eight? Is it more? Is it less? Because it's so expensive these days. Um, yes, more like 16, Flora and Fauna bottling from Diageo, eight out of 10. That's uh, an, our official score here. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying these whiskey jar videos, because, well, they look amazing, don't they? Um, but thank you very much. Have a nice evening, and I'll see you all next week. Cheers.